Hello everybody, today we are saving another power supply, Atlas 650, Cougar, let's check it together and see how it behaves. On the right side you can see an isolating transformer, there is nothing special about it, just 200 20 to 220 volts old radio transformer inside the case of old power supply and the lamp in series and as you can see when I turn on power to the power supply the lamp glows bright and there is no voltage indication at the device so it means we have short at the input circuit and that short we are gonna find and hopefully fix. Let's open it quickly with my new screwdriver, which I bought in China. And I like it, it's cheap but very useful. It's not an advertisement, just saying my experience. Okay, here I don't see nothing blown, power supply is clean, which is good, sometimes power supply must, might be very dirty, when it is used a lot, this one probably wasn't in use for a long time, also it's a good practice to check 12 volts output line at least because that is the main line of modern power supplies and that is usually get shorted line in this power supply that line is fine so I'll proceed opening and remove the PCB the help of screwdriver I mentioned okay let's see what's on that side and yeah I think problem is clear there was fire underneath something burned very severely there were some pieces of current resistors so it's definitely a blown transistor or maybe two transistor blue and current resistors also anyway I make sure that there is no voltage at the bulk capacitors because you never know after that I want to clean the PCB in order to examine it better let's take multimeter check let's start from transistor pfc transistor yeah and that's burned okay this one this one is burned but first one is good Source to gate it was fine and that means it's good. The PFC diode is also good. The diode also good. So one transistor blue took away current sense resistors. Transistors of main inverter are okay. So let's remove the that transistor. But also I want to check diet bridge and the diet bridge is bad also. Yeah, one diet inside is bad. So we have to remove it as well. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, all the bad components removed. Transistor is the main culprit. As you can see 10 ohms to the gate. Also, I removed gate driving transistors, even though they look 
fine, but still, when you see shorted gate, it is better to remove those, and also res gate resistor were blown, and the IC was blown. And the reason why, probably, because the manufacturer didn't put the diodes on the gates that helps to discharge the gate when the IC turns off the signal. So probably that could be a reason. I'm not sure, just saying. Also, as I said, I replacing gate driving bipolar transistors, as you can see. NPN and PNP types. The base is always connected together and from an IC comes one signal and those transistors drives drive gates. They are very fast. and used everywhere. That 10 ohm gate resistor was blown. Now I'm putting a new one. And also, as I said, I put a gate diode for discharging. I hope it, it will protect the power supply for the future. Yeah, like this. Not the best quality of recording because my microscope doesn't have a hole for the camera so I have to use alternative methods. Everything is soldered fine so let's proceed. Now I put transistor no I didn't put a transistor I put a diode bridge put a resistor, current sense resistor from a similar power supply. Just to make sure that everything is fine and works. Also, of course, I put a new PFC IC. That IC is also used for PWM. It is CM6805BG. It's double purpose IC, PFC and PWM. Okay. Now you can see all the stuff needed for checking. I'm gonna turn on the power right now. Lamp blink, now it's not glowing bright and we can see green LED, lamp starts flashing, it means PFC turns on and all works which is good now I'm gonna put second transistor put a diode bridge on its proper place current sense resistor I decided to put this one as you can see the transistor is here and current sense resistor is from that side I also strengthened PCB traces and that is the resistor. I had to drill two holes in the PCB but it's okay. Nothing bad with it. Okay now we can put everything back but first I am trying to remove that traces of fire tooth or I don't know how it's called properly, but it, it's not go easy, so just remove the axis as best as I can, just like this, okay, let's put everything back and check, okay, everything is back, the tester at first is this one with isolating transformer and everything works fine. Now I'm gonna put 
mains and <clears throat> at first let's check it with this tester well one 110 milliseconds power good signal well it is sometimes happens with even new power supplies i don't know why the standard is power good signal has to be from 100 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds here it is 110 and tester beeps but i don't think that there is a problem okay let's connect my 500 load to 12 volts line pci express and as you can hear it's working 12 volts present didn't drop power supply didn't blow which is good sometimes if you have some problems unresolved it immediately blows okay that's it that power supply is gonna serve its purpose one more time if you like it give it a like and see you next time bye